neighbors, enough about real estate. Let's get to grilling. Neighbors, welcome to another episode of Cribs and Ribs. I'm Steve Wickett, your friendly neighborhood real estate agent. This is another episode in a series of videos specifically designed for the neighborhoods of West Wind, Prescott Park, and Waterfall. I've lived in West Wind since 2008. I've raised all four of my kids there. If you live in West Wind, as you may or may not know, I'm your neighborhood watch guy. Basically, I'm not going anywhere. I'd like to stay top of mind. If you're thinking about entering the market in 2022, whether to pick up an investment property, whether to sell a property you may have, or even if you just like to know the value of your home, please think of me. Give me a chance to sit down in front of you and show you what I can do to help you win in today's market. I had the pleasure of talking to some of my neighbors over there in Waterfall not too long ago. I spoke to Jean over on Muskoka Falls. She said she'd like to see a little bit of smoked salmon this month. So we're gonna be doing a smoked salmon with a beautiful ginger honey garlic glaze. I'm gonna show you how to do the whole thing. First thing I'm gonna do here is slice the salmon. I got this right over there at Smith's. We're gonna leave the skin on. Since we're grilling this salmon, it definitely works out a little bit better on the grill. I'm gonna slice this into four portions. So the best way to do it is go ahead and just cut it down the middle and then cut each half down the middle. This will be a lot easier for you if you have a nice sharp knife. Because we're gonna give it a very light cure with a little bit of kosher salt and white sugar. And basically what that's gonna do is draw some of the moisture and oil out of the salmon, really improve the texture and really give it a dynamite flavor as well. So to cure the salmon, and we're just gonna let this cure for a little bit while we're getting the uh, the glaze ready. We're gonna add some kosher salt. I don't wanna overly salt it. And just go ahead and make sure you get those covered up evenly. It doesn't have to be completely coated in salt, but we wanna make sure we get some salt all over that. And then now keep in mind when we season the fish, we're gonna use a little bit less salt than normal because we're already adding some salt now. And it starts to, as it starts to pull some of the moisture and the oil out of the fish, it's gonna replace that moisture with some of the salt as well as some of this sugar here. It's really gonna give us a nice base to the flavor. Add a little bit of sweetness as well. And again, just a little sprinkle. It doesn't have to be completely caked with salt or sugar here. Just a little light coat there. While the salmon is curing, we're gonna go ahead and start the glaze. For the glaze, we're gonna use the juice from a lemon, about a teaspoon of freshly minced ginger, and three cloves of garlic. Again, the ginger will be minced for the garlic. Let's go ahead and smash that garlic and dice it up. If you've got a garlic press, feel free. So this glaze is pretty easy. You're gonna start off by tossing about a half a stick of butter into a little pot there. Just let that melt down. Don't go crazy on the heat. You want to gonna keep that medium, maybe even a little bit lower. While you're getting your butter going, add in the garlic and ginger. Just let that sit in the butter for a little while. That warm butter is gonna lightly cook that garlic and ginger, soften it up a little bit, help those flavors to kind of develop just a little while so it doesn't quite have that raw flavor that we're gonna be adding to the glaze. We'll go ahead and let that sit in the butter for uh, probably about six or seven minutes. So it's been about seven minutes. Butter's nice and melted and bubbling. It's lightly cooking my garlic and, and ginger. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and toss in the lemon juice. You may have noticed the seeds went right in there as well. Now this is a glaze that I'm gonna be brushing onto the salmon, so I don't care if those seeds are, are gonna be in there. That's not, getting, uh, that's not getting into our food at all. Once that lemon's mixed in pretty good, give it a little dash of soy sauce, and then you're gonna add some honey. And this is what's really gonna make it nice and sticky, of course. We're gonna be looking for about a quarter cup to start out with. And a little more. Too much honey is better than not enough when it comes to something like this. So we're just gonna mix this together and let that cook down for just a couple minutes and see what kind of consistency we're left with. Okay, so this glaze We've got half a stick of butter in there. We've got the minced garlic. We've got the minced ginger. I added just a dash of soy sauce. Not too much, because we've already salted the fish to cure it and we're gonna be adding some more salt to the seasoning. 
but there's quite a bit of lemon juice and butter in there. So I would like that to be a little bit stickier. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little more honey. All right. Now this glaze is pretty much ready to go. I can go ahead and put this on the salmon. But a couple more things I like to add, and this is just optional, is a red cayenne pepper and a little bit of crushed red flakes as well. I don't do a lot, just a little bit to make it interesting. Camera wasn't actually on when I put that in, so I'm not gonna add any more, but just a little dash of each to your personal uh, preference on how spicy you might like it. I'm gonna go ahead and let that simmer just a second before I glaze this, before I uh, let it cool off. And we'll let that bubble a little bit. That'll help it to thicken. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this all the way off now. And we'll let that cool off for a little bit. So this salmon here has been curing now for probably about half an hour. And you can see the moisture building up on top there. It's basically, it's making the salmon sweat. And it's like I was saying, it's drawing a lot of the moisture and the oil out. At this point, what we're gonna do is wash these off in the sink with a little bit of cold water and pat dry those with a paper towel. And then this will be ready to glaze and season. So now we glaze the salmon. And this is basically gonna help that uh, seasoning to stick right to the fish there. So make sure you get it all on the sides there. You don't have to worry about the skin side on the bottom, just those uh, fleshy parts on the sides and on the top. And you'll notice we're gonna have a lot more after we've got this uh, fish here glazed. We're basically gonna save the rest of this and glaze it one more time halfway through the cooking time. To season this fish, basically I made a classic pastrami rub with a little bit of a twist. Pastrami is normally gonna have a little bit of paprika. I swapped out the paprika for garam masala. If you're not familiar with garam masala, it's a similar sort of a spice to paprika and the fact that it's a roasted pepper that's dried and, and uh, ground. But the garam masala has a little bit more of an exotic fruit forward sort of a note. It's really gonna be pleasant on this fish. But don't be afraid to give that a nice seasoning there or a nice coat of seasoning, pardon me. And I'm gonna put the recipe for this right there in the description, everybody. It's mostly onion powder, garlic powder, a lot of black pepper, a lot of coriander. And then the, you can use paprika if you like. I use the garam masala. A little bit of ground mustard, a little bit of brown sugar. Cooking this with the skin on, since we're grilling this fish, it's really gonna make it a lot easier. That skin keeps the fish intact a lot better on a grill. If we took that skin off and threw it on the grill, the fish would stick to the grill, and then when you went to flip it, it would be stuck and all the flakes would fall apart. It'd be bad news. All right, this is ready for the grill. Okay, I've got this pit boss here. Set at 350, so it's going to kind of fluctuate back and forth between 300 and 350. I'm going to go ahead and just set these right on that grill. It's going to take about a half an hour, I'm thinking. We're going to cook these until it gets to an internal temperature of about 138. It's a little over medium, then we'll let that rest and it'll come up the rest of the way. So in about 15 minutes, I'm going to come out here. I'm going to come out here and glaze these again with that glaze that we just made. All right, let's take a look. The salmon's been on there for about 15 minutes and that's looking beautiful. So at this point, I'm just gonna glaze that one more time. Now you really don't wanna push real hard on it. If you can, just kind of drizzle it over the top because you don't wanna agitate the spices that are on the salmon. You wanna keep that crust going.
right. That's probably going to go for another 15 minutes. In the meantime, got a little asparagus I'm going to throw in here as well. Then I just dressed with a little bit of olive oil and some of the leftover uh, pastrami seasoning that uh, I cooked the salmon with. And that asparagus you can just toss back there in the back. Let it ride for a while. So when that salmon's done cooking, uh, the asparagus is probably still gonna go for another 10 minutes, which is perfect timing because it takes the salmon about that long to rest. Any sort of meat, when you take it off the grill, you wanna let it rest before you cut into it. Okay, so I just temp these out. It's coming out between 138 and 140. So that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. Pull these off, I'll tent a little foil over these for a few minutes, let these rest while that asparagus is finishing up. Oh yeah, those are looking perfect. These are looking great. All right, Gene, I hope this looks good for you. Neighbors, we've got a feast here. We've got that asparagus off the grill. I went ahead and did a little bit of potatoes in the air fryer and that glazed salmon is looking fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this and set up my plate. All right, let's try this ginger, garlic, and honey glazed salmon. Mmm, nice and flaky and moist. Comes right off of that skin. Here goes. Mmm. That is delicious. By cutting the salmon into portions, it really gets that nice smoky flavor all over the outside of the fish. The glaze is really fantastic. It sits up perfectly on the fish. Gene, what a great suggestion you made there. I hope you like this recipe. Neighbors, if I can help you out in any way, please don't hesitate to call, text, or email, and we'll chat soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel, and don't forget to ring that bell, because you don't want to miss anything spicy.